Essential Clinical Methods Outline History Order of History Taking Physical Examination History The best person to give history is the mother of the child. History obtained from father, uncles, aunts or grandparents who have not been deeply involved in child's care is less reliable. If the child is old enough to communicate information, he should also be interviewed. The case sheet must have a record of clear and precise information about the history in chronologic order. Order of history taking Number 1. Basic information Child's name Sex Parentage and address along with the name of the informant Number 2. Presenting complaints The complaints need to be recorded in chronologic order Number 3. History of present illness Record the details of the present illness Number 4. History of past illness History of child's previous health Number 5. Birth history Antenatal Natal Perinatal and Postnatal Number 6. Developmental milestones Like social smile, head holding, sitting, standing, walking, etc. Number 7. Immunization status History of vaccinations received by the child with dates, if available. Number 8. Dietetic history Feeding history History of feeding difficulties Details about the weaning Month of starting vitamin and mineral supplements any food allergy. Number 9. Personal history. Child's relations with the sibs. Is he a difficult child? Child's eating, sleep, bowel and bladder habits. Number 10. Family history. History of consanguinity. Familial diseases. Inherited disorders. Number 11. Socio-economic status Family income Occupation of the parents School and play facilities Physical examination Get friendly with the child and win his confidence. The child may be examined while he is in mother's lap or over the shoulder. Whole of the body from scalp hair to tip of the toes is properly inspected. The sequence of examination depends upon the cooperation received from the child. Uncomfortable procedures such as examination of throat, ear or rectum should be left to the last. General appearance. Does the patient look acutely sick? Any suggestion of a respiratory distress? Any evident congenital defect, wasted, obese or average, note his cry. Anthropometry, child's weight, height or length, head, chest and mid-upper arm circumferences, MAC. Skin, skin color and pigmentation, skin turgor, presence of rashes. Lymph nodes. Location, size, consistency, mobility, tenderness and warmth. Head. Measure circumference at mid-forehead anteriorly and the most prominent part of the occiput posteriorly. Shape of the skull. Palpation of the sutures. Inspect hair for color, texture. Face. Expression, asymmetry paralysis size of the maxilla and mandible and tenderness over sinuses eyes photophobia 
visual acuity, acts of thalmos, pupils, corneal opacities, caesar, flacher ring, nose, examined for patency, discharge, bleeding, deviated septum, foreign body, polyp, and depressed bridge, mouth and throat, any unusual shape, cleft lip, dental caries, coplic spots, tonsils, and post-nasal discharge. Ears, shape, size, and position, deformities, low-set ears, examine the eardrum. Hearing should also be tested. Neck, examined for head holding, swelling, torticollis, JVP, sinuses or fistulas, webbing, position of trachea. Chest, size, shape and symmetry, chest retraction, type of breathing. Examination of the heart for apex beat. Auscultation of the precordium for heart sounds and murmurs. Murmurs need to be described as to their timing, intensity, pitch, area of highest intensity and transmission. Abdomen To be examined when it is relaxed. Note its size and contour, distension. Umbiculus, hernias, local or rebound tenderness, palpable organ or lump. Alteration in bowel sounds. Genitalia Male genitalia Circumcision Urethral Metal opening Hydrocele, hernia and undescended testis Female genitalia Urethral opening Vagina Hypertrophy of clitoris Avoid digital or speculum examination. Rectal examination. Any anal fissure, polyp, perianal erythema. Assess the anal muscle tone. Limbs and feet. Examined for any deformity, asymmetry, hemihypertrophy, bow legs, knock knees, edema, any swelling or limitation of movements of the joints. It is absolutely within normal limits for many infants to have flat feet and bow legs. Spine and back. Look for scoliosis, kyphosis, lordosis, dimples, sinuses, spina bifida, tufts of hair, stiffness of neck and back, any swelling, Mongolian spots or tenderness. Neurologic examination. Evaluation of cerebral function, cranial nerves and their integrity, cerebellar function, motor system meningeal signs and involuntary movement, assessment of primitive reflexes and calculation of developmental and mental age.